Good morning. Good morning, David. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate that. Talk a little bit about how this works. I like it because it's in a confined, safe space. There you go. Yeah, that's, uh, that's correct. We've actually been doing this for many years. It's a great uh, opportunity for the community to come out. Um, our trunk or treat is actually a free event. Um, so we'll have many trunks set up and, and decorated. Uh, opportunity for kids to uh, come through, um, show off their costumes. And, and it's not on Halloween, so it's a much safer environment for all the parents. Yes. Indeed. And a lot of organizations are, are starting to embrace the whole trunk or treat idea because of that reason, you know, as opposed to having the kids walking around in the dark and places that they don't necessarily know of. Uh, trunk or treat seems to be a better option. Was this something that the school parents came up with or the school itself? Well, it's a little bit of everybody. Um, we, as I said, we've been doing this for many years um, and it's run by our PTL, our Parent Teacher League. Um, and we're also doing a second event. We also have a harvest festival going on at the same time. Oh. Uh, that's a little bit extra cost, $10, $10 for that. But the kids get a, a candy apple, they get a pumpkin, um, they get a rock from Lodi Rocks to paint. We've got um, a pyramid, we've uh, got a petting zoo, we've got games, uh, photo that's booths, all event. sorts of yeah. amazing things going on. That is like awesome. That. Where does the candy come from? Is it donated or do you actually have to go out and buy all the candy for the kids? Uh, it's donated. Um, we do require that our parents have 30 hours of volunteer service, and we do give them some uh, some of the credit if they bring in candy for us. It's a good thing for yeah. the parents who uh, work during the day and, and can't volunteer their time. How many uh, different trunks do you think that the kids will be able to uh, do some trick-or-treating from? Over you two. <laughs> um, you know, it, our event grows bigger and bigger every year. Yeah. I think uh, one year we had 10 trunks, uh -huh. so this year we're probably going to have more like 20 to 30 trunks, I believe. Right? That's good. It's good variety right. for the kids. 20, 29 <laughs> trunks. 29 trunks will be here. Nice. nice. Okay, David, this is the toughest question you're going to get all day. <laughs> what is your favorite Halloween candy? Because then we'll tell you what it says about you. What's ah. your favorite Halloween candy? <laughs> uh, favorite Halloween candy? I'm going to go with Twix. Yeah, oh, that's the right <laughs> answer. <laughs> both of, that's both the right answer, right David. Twix. Yeah. That's the right answer. <laughs> Nicely done. Because there's two of them. Because you've got two. Because you've yes. got two of them. That's a smart principle. David yep. Warmbier with <laughs> St. Peter Lutheran School. Thank you so much for your time this morning. Again, that trunk or treat activity uh, taking place on the 26th. Starts at eight, uh, 5 to 8. And uh, again, safe. It's yes. Mm -hmm. All